All right, back to Mario for the time being, unless the fancy strikes me otherwise. Should we go to Super Pipe Action Town, or should we go to the Brick Hole Massacre? I'm in the mood for a massacre, so I'm going to go Brick Hole Massacre up in this joint. Oh, hey, that's not very nice. And I can't pick up the things in the grass because I'm still wearing Karibo shoe. Now, from this point, I'm pretty much blind for most of the rest of the game. Wow, Mario, you are supremely useless here. I may get rid of your Karibo shoe on purpose. Is there any way I can just discard that? Nope, but there is a way I can uh, switch over to the Ice Flyer. That'd probably be better for our intents and purposes here. There we go. Oh, this is probably what they mean by Brick Hole Massacre. Whatever's going on down in here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, the humanity. All the poor, all the poor little Bricky Wickies. Okay, I should probably follow that guy around. See what he is up to. Does it just shoot the Buzzy Beetle shell the one time, or...? Okay, good. I feel good about having followed this guy around. Okay, I wish I could destroy more of the bricks on my own, though, so, uh... Oh, wow, now I've got two Ice Flowers. Perhaps not the best of ideas, actually. <laughs> Man, it always pays to explore on top of a pipe in this game. And without a th timer, we could theoretically sit here and just crunch bricks all day. But I don't think I'm going to do that. That, that isn't much fun for you, especially. Fun for me, but not fun for you considering I'm on camera and we don't want to run up the clock here. I feel like this is where I was supposed to come to. This is... I'm very happy about this. I, I'm not very happy about this, however. I'm going to go lose the Karibo shoe on purpose. I'm sure there will be plenty more opportunity. Oh my god, I can't even lose it when I want to. Jeez. There we go, much better. Yeah, I feel really good now. But I still want my ice flower because I like that I can now pick up ice blocks. There we go, come out of the pipe, you. There we go. Any, any chance of me? Oh wow, man, there are pipes just leaning everywhere around here. It definitely pays to discover. Okay, Mr. Toad Man, what are you doing? <laughs> well, you don't seem to have any trouble breathing underwater, however, so I'm just going to leave you where you are for the time being. Not like you can really interact with NPCs in a meaningful way other than conversation in this game. Anyway, what is the, uh, where are they getting the, uh, what am I trying to say here? Where are they getting the, uh, remix of the Mario 2 or the Mario Underground theme? Is this from a game, or is this just somebody something did up? Pop! Come to, butthead. There you go. Wow, I said that in Spiritual Warfare, and then today in Mario. I clearly have Beavis and Butthead on the brain, which are like, Oh, that's good news, Jazz. That, they're made remaking Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, yeah, not so exciting, actually. Go, forward. Kill, kill, destroy, destroy. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with the destruction. I like this layer 2 thing they've got going on here. That is super excellent. I don't want to get crushed or anything, but... Ah, here we go. Running over the top of the level, as usual. It means we missed the midway point, but... What would a Mario game be if you couldn't run over the ceiling of the level? Oh, wow. As it is, it's just really pretty much just a massive shortcut. Now, how is the ice hanging in the air like that? I cannot even suspend my disbelief for a minute about that. They should at least stay on the ground or something. That's just... That's just silly. Come on, game. I don't come here for silliness. I come here for gritty realistic... Okay, go away, poison mushroom. You are not invited to this party. And there are pipes we can go in all over the place. I love testing pipes in this game. Oh, pipe. One of you I ought to be able to go in. Come on now. Last one? Yeah, don't let me down. Here we go. Slide off into the water there. And we get the star. Okay, we had that brings us up to two now. That is probably, I would say, the secret exit for this level. So we'll see where that leads us. And uh, too bad we can't do anything meaningful back at the star hut yet. But that leads us, yep, up to Star Warp. There we go. Yeah, coming from Subcon Land. Okay. Okay, I'm getting the general theme now. Now the next world will be Mario World type stuff, and then Mario 1. And then I guess a Sonic the Hedgehog World, even though that's a porcupo. I know my Mario enemies. Come on now. And then just weird, crazy, fan-made custom stuff world. I don't know. But, uh... Alright, well, we explored that plenty good enough for now. Let's go back and get the regular exit here. 
All right, let's go the normal way this time. Not least of all so we can get the midway point, but because there are probably... There's probably at least one more pipe that we can explore around here to great effect, at least, right? Come on. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a leap of faith on that one. Here we go, midway point. Ta-da! Okay, let's see if I can grab that while running. Ha ha ha, Mario! You magnificent athletic bastard, you. All right. Man, there are tons of flowers in this stage. That, I don't know, sometimes this game really throws power-ups at you like they're going out of style. Like they're Clarence Halloween candy or something. Oh, dang, that was quite a lift we got off that thing. <laughs> okay, that was certainly not intended to happen. And it probably kept me from getting a one-up somehow, which... I'm less disappointed about than you would think. I really like how this game keeps track of one-ups even after you leave it and exit the program. Like, it still recognizes that I have 25 lives. It doesn't boot me back down to however many. Wow, that is a useless little chunk of ice. I'm like holding that at crotch level. Can it still kill? It sure can. Beware my ice frisbee, thou villains. Now, when I've been messing with the level editor, I cannot get these things to work for the life of me. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that again, I don't think. Okay, and this leads up to the X. I'm sure I can. Okay, yeah. Can I get something profitable out of this? We'll just see. Let's drop this right here. Yeah, just really big air, pretty much. This should take us back to outside, too. Somewhat relative normalcy. I love the log bridge effect here. I like putting these in my own levels. Y'all may remember my uh, Pow Pow Island level that I posted uh, back when I went to Arkansas. There we go. Another one up. Awesome. Now let's move on to hopefully some yellow. Wow. Just made a big old giant circle. Well, we have to go to Super Pipe Action Town then. I am not opposed to that in the least. Is this safe water? Is it like mud water or should I be careful? Okay, no, it's safe to swim in the gross water. The gross yuck. Okay, I don't really want mushrooms, though. Okay, good. I can avoid that. I don't know, perhaps some mushroom vault deep below the earth where they grow mushrooms? Mushrooms do thrive in dark climates, after all. You stupid toad. God, you idiot. Alright, here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. Can I kick that thing up? Not to any real effect, though. I am loving the Hazy Maze Caveness, though. This is an excellent song right here. What's over here? I didn't even bother to explore over this way. Good God. There we go. I can. I don't mind doubling up on the ice flowers. I like having a weapon that can stun enemies, and yet I can also use them against other enemies. That, my friends, is what we call te-greatness. Te, intentional typo and everything. Yes, it's played out worse than Chuck Norris jokes. I don't care. I said it. Live with it. <laughs> Man. I love getting enemies from the other side of the screen. I get an inordinate thrill out of that. I really do. Somebody needs to clean up around here, though. If this is where the mushrooms are coming from, then uh, people are going to get sick, and they are going to find out who is growing those nasty mushrooms, and they are going to sue like a boss. And since Mario's good at everything else, it just stands to reason that he should be good at skipping stones, too. There are- man, I am really blown away by the amount of flowers around here. This is just gonna lead over- yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's wonderful. Can you do that with every pipe? I didn't mean to do it with the orange one again. Can you do that with literally every pipe up here? Now, that is the kind of pipe action I am talking about. What a thrill ride. Oh, that's awesome. Can I get actually hurt by my own projectile there? I somehow doubt it, but... Uh, yeah, I want to go up here. Okay. I almost got thrown off by the blue pipe for a second. I'm like, one of these I'm going to have to go in, but nope. Wow, if I just follow that thing up, it will just... Okay, yeah. It'll just result in mass block hysteria at some point. Okay, I ought to be able... This should not be this hard. Come on. I ought to be able to get up a hill at least. Oh. Ha, yeah, I can just walk. Okay, doy. Hoodoy, daddy. Oh, man, I wish they had some better pipe transitions like Mario 3 where you could just, where it, like, followed the trajectory of the pipe. But I'm not going to complain. This is just so well done and well made. Now, I've got five choices here. I think I'm going to go with the one that's not like the others. Eh, well, it didn't really lead to any better or worse reward than anything else. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. 
I feel like I should be rewarded for choosing pipes based on color. It's like, hey, you know, I'm feeling purple today. So yeah, I just get to run around and warp across the screen to get coins. That's that's a little disappointing. I do like how they break this up by sections, though. This is a very well-designed level. You really feel like you're making progress. Going from one section to the other. Hey there, unborn spiny egg. And purple coins. We are getting into some definite Mario World territory here. We are edging closer, which makes sense. <laughs> oh, I could follow this all day. Oh, please tell me that there's just... Wow, you could... You could theoretically sit and watch this all day. And there would be a line. You know what? I'm going to wait long enough to get a one-up out of this. Surely I can pull this off. There's seven, and I think we're going to need eight. What the heck? Let's just do nine. Ah, oh, crap. I screwed it up. Oh, well. <laughs> That's pretty cool that you could sit there and do that if you wanted. I am very tempted by the prospect of death. There's, is there anything secret out here? No, there sure isn't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tempt fate. I'm just gonna run over, make sure there's not anything over to the right of the exit that I need to get. What little snatch of music was that? I don't recognize all the music in this game all the time. Is this gonna lead us up to the castle? Yes, thank you. That is a great stopping point. The dungeon of agony, though. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. Now this is awesome. This is really getting your Mario 2 on right here. There we go. Knock you cold out, sniff it, son. Can I spin jump on Sparkies? Well, I have a spare ice flower. I could certainly try it out, but... Okay, yeah, remember that my, uh... I think that's my X button that is set to spin jump. Can I pull this? Well, <laughs> well, we'll never know because I went ahead and shot a bunch of ice balls and froze them anyway. Yeah, that was probably not the best spot to try that out in. Good going, Jess. And I can't even pick that thing up. Boo. I do like the Mario 2 coins, though, just being used as regular things. That I can pick up. Not cool. Holy crap. Well. Wow, that should have been... Considering I was just going up, like, a few tiers to get a key, that should have been way simpler. Oh, hello. Out of my face, y'all. Alright, which way do I want to go now? All the agony I've experienced in this dungeon so far, I've pretty much brought on myself. Can I actually go in these things? No, they're just there to generate enemies, probably. Ah, here we go. Some classic... No. Some classic incorrect mushroom block stacking. I'm going to want to be really careful about how I do this. Alright, let's just set this down. You want to hold down when you let go of the Y button so that everything just kind of falls into place in a nice, neat stack. I feel like I need to go up first because that would be kind of a very subtle Mario 2 homage if I had to do that. Very subtle homage to the first boss world where I have to go up before going down in order to get the key. I don't... Okay, the last thing I need is Fanto chasing me, and I have a feeling that's what's coming up in this room. Even though, as I say, uh, I'm officially working blindly at this point, so... And I like how they just stack in kind of a leaning teeter-totter tower, leaning tower of Chiza, without so much as any effect on gravity whatsoever. I like that little staircase I made. That is a bona fide work, work of modern art. Well, speak of the devil. Wow. Well, if nothing else, this game... Oh, so you can't actually get Fanto to chase after you? Well, we'll see when we get out of the room here. No, no Fanto chasing me? Well, then... Well, then seriously, where's the threat? I mean... I mean, I'm gonna feel invincible if I can just run around... Oh, hey there, Snippet. Can I... I can. I can knock enemies out with the key, at least. That's a nice... That's nice to know. Okay, before I... Whoa, bullet, hello. Now, are the bullets dead when they drop like that? I don't think I want to stick around to find out. We're just going to jump across here. Now, this is one of those times where I wish I had Link again. And now, I'm feeling like, since this is kind of all Mario 2 and stuff, I'm feeling like we're going to see a Birdo boss here. Not like a Mouser or a Fry Guy or Triclide or anything. This is, this is seeming pretty basic. Ah, here we go. Now this, we're getting into kind of a World 1-2 territory here. Okay, can I do this? Let's see how effectively I can pull this off. Let's just go ahead and uh, drop this right here. Oh, dang. 
Okay, I think the bullets are dead once they hit the wall. That's nice to know. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead and, uh... No, 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 no! Okay. Oh, wow, I could end up really sucking this up. All in the name of a stupid one-up. That would be just awful. No. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, good. Thank goodness I get a, uh... I get something for my troubles there. That's nice. Oh, and another one. <laughs> oh, God, that was stupid. Oh, hey. I didn't even notice that the first time. I, like, my brain kind of registered that there might be a coin there. Can I really keep going and doing this? This is awesome. Boy, I am racking them up. I know you can program up to 99 coins in a coin block in, a. Uh, in the SMBX level editor. I had no idea anyone would actually sit there and program one, though. And I bet they didn't think I would actually sit here and get all of these, but you guys know me, Mr. 1-Up Fiend. Surely this is gonna run out- Ah, yeah, okay. Do we have the same kind of thing going on here? Wow, we do, actually. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. You are just gonna have to sit here and watch this while I fiddle my leg around. I've got restless leg syndrome sitting here. I don't think I actually have that, but I'm just kind of fidgeting my leg here while I do this. It's kind of passing the time. Okay, I had 89 coins when I started in on this. If there are 99 coins in here, then I will end up with 88 coins once this is all said and done. Yeah, there are actually 99 coins. There's like 98 coins in that break. Okay. And another mushroom. Wow. I sat there, and I got myself three one-ups. Patience, guys, is definitely a virtue. Good work, Jess. Oh, uh, <laughs> and I'm loving the homage to Wart here. Am I actually going to have to fight Wart, though? Now, if I actually have to fight Wart, then uh, there might... Yep, there is some agony going on here. And since the throwing physics are all funky in this game... Wow! I did get him once, though. Was there something in his stomach that was going off there, too? Like, did his... Okay, wow. Well, good thing they start me off here, then. Oh, wow. This... So if I throw it at a wall, it'll automatically go off? Is that the deal here? <laughs> yeah, I guess that is the deal. Well, let's get back in there and uh, get ourselves some free mushroomage. Wow! Okay, okay. I was doing that the hard way, then. Could I sit here and get 99 coins again? Oh my god, I totally could. Not that I will this time, though. I'm... Oh my god, how fucking stupid do I have to be? Fool me seven or eight times, shame on you. Fool me nine or ten times, ugh, shame on me. Okay, let's take another crack at this. I am really terrible. Okay, I'm gonna really have to think about the vegetable physics here. Good God, and look at the way he just throws these vegetables. At least they come shooting out at a nice, awesome rate here. And they don't get destroyed by the bubbles either, at least as far as I saw there. Wow, that's kind of nice. Wow, I was not expecting to have to actually fight Wart here, but uh, as far as a final subcon boss goes, that's pretty awesome, actually. I am enjoying the homage here. Holy crap, I need to... Come on, could you be any slower, Mushroom? Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, so a spare item is pretty much worthless here. Good thing I got five hits before that crap happened. Jeez. Okay, I know I've killed him. Will he regenerate if I leave? Because I need to see if there's an item anywhere around here. Is it just vegetables, basically? Yeah, it's just vegetables, basically. If he respawns, I'm going to be really mad at myself. Okay, good. I didn't think this game would do that, but... Wow, and that's it. Wow, boy, that was not much ceremony at all for that kind of thing. Have I done everything I need to do around here? There's something I'm missing around here, because there's a pipe up there. And this leads to Frosty Frost Frostlands. I feel like there are, like, little things I'm missing in every world. And I'm not quite sure what it all amounts to, but I know I'm missing something. What have we got going on here? I want to come back here. Now that I don't have Link, it would be nice to come back and get a Hammer Brothers suit. And uh, probably also a spare one, please. Yes, thank you. All right, Mario is all equipped. 
Jeez, why didn't I think of this before? Good lord. Yeah, but I feel like there are subtle things I'm missing in some levels, like the misplaced pipe hammer maze in the first world. Like, there was a pipe that I saw, and I was like, I should be able to do a little better at this, I think. I don't know what I'm missing, but I feel like I'm missing, intermittently missing tiny things. But what's through here? Warp to Dino Island. There we go. Alright, yeah, so we do have a Super Mario World ha! coming up. So that's going to be that. Alright, moving right along. We have our choice of two different levels coming up next time. Jumpy Hoppy Turtle Zone and Super Super Nostalgia World. Mm, guess, <coughs> excuse me, guess which one's pushing my buttons. I think I know which one we're going to be starting with next time. 